Welcome to iLecture Online. In this video, we're going to explore the concept of a line in three-dimensional space. How do we define that? So let's say we have a three-dimensional space here, and we have a line, let's call it L1. And let's find a point on the line that has a given coordinates x, y, and z. So we denote that by x sub naught, y sub naught, and z sub naught. So when you see that, typically that means that this is a known point on the line, and x, y, and z are known. If we now pick another point on the line, further up the line, so that we know that we've moved a certain distance delta x, a certain distance delta y, and a certain distance delta z, we now come to a new point, so let's call that point 1. And so the coordinates of that point are x sub naught plus the change in x, y sub naught plus the change in y, z sub naught plus the change in z. It is customary to replace delta x, delta y, delta z by three numbers represented by a, b, and c. So let a equal delta x, b equal delta y, and c equal delta z. So then instead of writing it like this, we can simply say that the point 1 has coordinates x sub naught plus a, y sub naught plus b, and z sub naught plus c, which means that a is the change in distance in the x direction from this point to this point, b is the change in the distance in the y direction from this point to this point, and c is the distance change in the z direction from this point to this point. So we can now define a vector with these three numbers. In other words, we can write a vector or come up with a vector that points from p to p1. And if we're going to write that, we can write it as a in the i direction plus b in the j direction plus c in the k direction. And let's call that vector 1 associated with line 1. We can also write it in this form right here. That means the same thing. And what we can now see is that that vector is parallel to the line. Now, on, in, on top of that, it's actually right on top of the line, right? It's, it's in the same location as the line, but it doesn't matter because vectors can be moved anywhere we like. So again, we can safely say that that vector, no matter where we put it, it will always be parallel to the line. So that means that this vector v1 is parallel to line L1. And now we can conclude that there's two ways in which we can define a line in space. First of all, we can say if we know two points on the line, we can define the line, we can find the equations of the line. If there's one point on the line that's known and we know a vector that's parallel to the line, together they can also define the line. So in order to define a line in three-dimensional space, we need to know two points on the line or we need to know one point on the line and a parallel vector to the line and we can come up with the equations of the line. And that will show you in the next video how to come up with the general equation and the parametric equation of a line in three-dimensional space. So stay tuned and we'll show you how to do that as well.